Hey guys, my name is Trevor, and to the right is my son Audinon. Today we're taking the car out in the snow that we just got to last night, and we're gonna go over the car, the specs of the car, the stock, and then over the mods that the car had when we bought it and then the mods that we've done to it and then the future mods so we're getting ready to pull up into a parking lot here that i actually took a picture at earlier today and it turned out really good oh this you crazy mother of the car and but I don't know we're pull up here. I don't know what this little spot. I don't know what punch me me specs? Yeah. It means this specifications of the car. Oh it means how fast. Oh what were you want? The horsepower. Yeah what are you want what? Let's pop the hood and show them what we've got. The 1997 Corvette. It was the first year of the LS, LS motor. So it's got the LS1 5.7 yeah. liter V8, which produced 345 horsepower at the crank. And it's a cast aluminum block and heads. And we've got the car came with this Canin yeah. intake on it, yeah. and it's got headers okay. as well, which you probably can't see down there, but yeah. it's straight piped as well. Yeah. So I'm I'm sure that we're making over 345 at the crank, but with your 20% loss estimate in the drivetrain, that's roughly. Um, 276 horsepower at the wheels and the only battery that I use in my vehicle is Optima to save my life a few times um, it does produce 300 uh, my camera had an issue so we're gonna start back at the torque it's got 350 pounds foot pounds of torque what buddy Are you gonna pop, that? pop the trunk yeah. yeah if you want to go ahead and pop the trunk go ahead It's got everything else that I know of on the car is, is stock for the most part. The transmission was just rebuilt. It is an automatic 4L60E. And like I said, it is straight pipe, so it does sound pretty good. Do you wanna, do you wanna start it? Yeah, do you wanna go start the car? All right, go start the car real quick. We'll get a little start up here. It's not a cold start, but give you guys an idea. That's pretty beefy. So our car is, it is Arctic White, which is where I came up with the name for Arctic Vet. 
I thought it went out. It went pretty well. Oh man, you just fell. Are you all right? Yeah. Thought it went pretty well with the car. The other mods that we've done to it really are aren't too much, but it has a nano ceramic coating on it, which is um, called Sapphire V1, done by Flight Shield. But we had the Queen Freaks in McPherson put it on for us and they did a wonderful job. I'll go ahead and put their information down below. And if you need any detailing done, be sure to check them guys out and they'll set you up. The next thing that we did was wrap the, the B pillar, the halo, whichever, whatever you wanna call it. I call it the halo just because it's a little easier. But we got this rat by low and certified and I hope I hope you can see it coming through. But there's an American flag that's tattered there that fades out to the center. And it's done that way on both sides. There's our Queen Freaks Worldwide LS owners. This side you might not really be able to see it, but it looks sweet. And it's it's uh, ghosted enough that it's really hard to see unless you got the right light. And that was the next thing we did. And while they were doing that, they went ahead and they threw on some Grand Sports stripes for me. <laughs> got a race truck driving by. After doing those couple things, I decided that it was time to go ahead and fix up the <laughs> fix up my DRLs. And so I got new housings. And when I got new housings, you wanna go turn the lights on real quick? Yep. When I got new housings, I had to get LEDs for them. And so I got some switchbacks through vet lights. And there you go, switching from amber to the white. And they just look so good. Now, my headlights on the other hand, don't look too well, so those are gonna be the next thing that we end up getting. And we'll get those through vet lights as well. So, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here, close this up, end this video. And, you got that? We're gonna go get get uh, warmed up because it's freezing out here. Well, that's a little bit about the car and what was done to it before we bought it and what we have done to it and what we plan to do to it next. So if you guys wanna see any more if there's content that you would like to see, let me know down in the comments and we'll make it happen. We'll try to make it happen. And if you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video.